Hello to all my loyal YouTube viewers. Today I'm going to show you how you can set up multiple emails and create folders with the iOS 4 update for iPod Touch. To set up multiple emails, uh, you have to go to your settings folder, I mean settings uh, app I guess. And then once you go, get to your, your settings, you should go down until you see mail, contacts, and calendars. You click that. If you've clicked that, you can see that underneath where your email is, it says add account. You'd click that and choose whichever email provider you use. If it's not in this list, you'd click other. So I'll just, I'll just click one of these randomly. So once you get, get there, you can put in all your information. You put in all your information, your e your name, your email address, your password, and then your description of what you want it to be showed as. Then once you do that, you can click next, and then it will show you all you have to do t for to finish. And that's pretty easy to set up. Now I'm going to show you how to create folders, which is also pretty easy. And since they, they made it, uh, Apple made it so you can have folders. Now you can have more apps than you normally could. You can normally, I believe, you can only have 180 or something. But now with the folds, you can have up to like 2,000. I've heard. I'm not sure if that's true, but just, uh, comment on the video if, if you've hear, heard otherwise. So to create folders, you what you have to do is hold on an app like you're about to edit it, and then just drag it. And if you haven't made any other folders, you could drag it to one of the folders that you have or into another app and hold it over the app and then it will be like a weird square and then it will have this thing you can let go and then the app will just drop down into the folder then you can change the name of the folder and stuff like that or or if you don't want to wait for that thing to open up this is a little faster you just hold it over the app and once you see the little square just let go oh my bad just let go and then it will go into the folder then it will open up again and then you can do all that stuff so I will create more videos on how to on the different features for your iOS 4 update uh, please subscribe to my page and thanks for watching